blessed love i am the honorable priest isaac i am an official priest within the realms of rastafari of the ethiopia africa black international congress i also hold a certification in the craft of accio astronomy from Politecnico de Milano in Italy. Our universe and its maker has always been an intriguing subject for humankind. Astronomy is the study of everything in the universe beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Ancient astronomy is similar but pays special attention to the physical and spiritual values of stars, planets, moons, and other celestial objects. It also brings in the terrestrial component, being things on an earthly plane, such as plants, human organs, and connects them to the heavenly bodies. In this course, you will learn the makeup of various planets and stars, how to locate them in the night sky, along with their associated constellations. You will also be taught about the earliest civilizations known for their astronomical comprehension, namely Kush, also known as ancient Ethiopia. Kemet, called Egypt today, the Dogans, and the Bozos, as well as the civilization of Sumer. You will also learn about black holes, their nature and origin, as well as how the ancients viewed them. Ancient astronomy is the mother of archaeo astronomy and astro theology. Both subject areas are covered by the Priest Isaac's Institute of Holistic Knowledge. Sign up today. Visit our website priestisaacinstitute.com or email us priestisaacinstitute at gmail.com for more information. All right, a blessed love to each and every one. Of course, you know, we glorify the life giver and the keeper of life, Emperor Haile Selassie the first. What a joy, what a joy and a wonderful look at Wednesday evening it is. Of course, we're talking about what, the 20th day of September, looking to go into the balance. We're looking to go into the equinox. We're looking to go into what is called the fall equinox, at least in the Northern Hemisphere. Hey, blessed love to each and everyone. Give thanks for your presence with us. Of course, you know, this is the Tiger's Nest Radio Program. This is a program that comes to you every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday evening, 7 p.m. sharp, right here on Radio Anu, the international flavor, the universal spice. Of course, I'm your humble servant for the evening, your host, Honorable Priest Isaac. And yes, as you know, this is the website of the Priest Isaac's Institute of Holistic Knowledge. If I'm not mistaken, we are broadcasting to Radio Anu TV, which is on the YouTube. Radio Anu TV, not television now. We ain't telling no lies through the vision. Radio Anu TV, telling you truth. <laughs> through the vision. Hey family, we have a wonderful program this evening. Those of you who already got the word on the YouTube, uh, uh, for sure, we will be addressing something that we heard our brother, Brother Garfield, uh, said today. I don't think it's today really, but as I said, the good Rabbi Ras I Adonis would have sent I a clip of Brother Garfield um, speaking about killing Rastafari, but I think it's really the conception he's really trying to talk about, and he even referred to it as craziness. So I just decided that I would like to address the, the statement and the reality of Haile Selassie's divinity, even within all scriptures and all sacred books, you know. Um, this is not a personal, without a doubt, this is not a personal attack or any kind of attack whatsoever on Brother Garfield, although the good brother would have attacked me in the past, I think I would have squared him up, I mean, clear and, and, and done away with that. Uh, but for sure, the statement that he would have made, I must say, a little off the wall. And I 
I think ones are a bit too trigger happy with this debate stuff. And I think reasoning is of the, you know, uh, more important than the trigger stuff. So what I'm going to do, I wonder if I should begin the program with Brother Garfield's statement. No, 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 let me not. Let me begin the program properly the way we begin our program. Hey, once again, this is the Tiger's Nest. Give thanks for your presence with us. Hey, give thanks to everyone that was uh, with us on Sunday, the 17th of September for the relaunch of the website. Remember that today, family, I wonder uh, how many of you understand that today, Wednesday the 20th, is the final day for those offers. What's he talking about? We had some offers on Sunday. You remember the offers on Sunday at the, the website launch? Right. And we were showing you those of you who would have bought from the holistic um, um, whole food store. We, we, we definitely have a holistic food store online on our website where you can get all what you need for optimum living as far as the things you eat and other things, even internally and externally. Your natural soaps, shampoos, all of these things, creams, shea butter, you get it right from us at the holistic food store. And of course, your food, your bay leaf, honey, agave, different grains, quinoa, millet, um, uh, um, teff, your nuts, pistachios, almonds, uh, um, whatever, cashews, pecans, walnuts, you can get it all from us right here at the Precise Institute of Holistic Knowledge. But here it is. The real vibes was that if you shop from the Whole Food Store, and this was all a part of the relaunch, by the way, if you shop from the Whole Food Store, you will definitely get a free uh, rendition, a free copy of our brand new book, which is The Rudiments of Ancient Astronomy, as well as our third full-length video documentary, The Night of the Black Tiger, which is the divinity of Marcus Messiah Garvey. So I hope many of you took advantage of that. And if you didn't, you still have a chance. All you got to do is just buy something from the Whole Food Store. How do I get there? I mean, you're there already. You are on the website. Well, those of you who are watching uh, on radio and on TV via the YouTube, well, of course, as I said, the link for the website is in the description below. In fact, by the way, listen to me, the whole program tonight will not be on the YouTube, by the way. In fact, in a few minutes, I'll be asking the engineers to seal up the YouTube version of this night's Tiger's Nest. So if you want to hear the completion of this program, you're going to have to press the link in the description below and come straight over to Radio Ando. All right, before we begin. Oh, also, let me just remind you too that remember we also had a special offer for the International Homeschool Program. Any one of you parents that um, uh, purchased or enrolled your young one in the International Homeschool Program uh, uh, well, from the 17th of September, and remember, you have a three-day window for this, you will be getting, you will be enrolled for free in your ancient astronomy course. So, I mean, Sunday, we were just giving things away, showing love. Those of you who were on the Zoom link or requested your Zoom link, remember, you can still get your ancient uh, uh, natal chart reading for only $75. I mean, so... All of these offers, family, that we were offering on Sunday. Remember, we gave a three-day window. And that we'll see today. All right, good. So what I'm going to do now, we're just going to begin the program. You know, my, my spiritual ear heard someone said, uh, oh, let's just get to the subject tonight. Now, you see, this is, this is why we have Radio Anu. Nobody on Radio Anu said that. That's somebody who's watching from the YouTube. You understand? That's not how we do it at Radio Anu. In fact, in fact, what you are watching on YouTube, for those on YouTube, you're watching a stream. We are streaming to YouTube from Radio Anu. Again, the whole of the tonight's Tiger's Nest will not be on YouTube. In fact, in a few moments or minutes or whatever, we will lock off the YouTube and you will have to come to Radio Andrew to hear the rest of this. Family, as I showed you, this is a this is a conscious revolution. Eh? And the radio station and the media house is very important. You understand? 
is not every and anything you can even say on the YouTube. You comprehend. So this is why we encourage and we're very thankful to those of you who support Radio Anu. YouTube is a website, you know. YouTube is a website that just happens to, to host a lot of people that come and talk what they want to talk. You understand? Yes, they may have a grand following now, but our website, Radio Anu, can have more following than that. I know some of us are going to say, oh, how is that going to happen? Because we think very small. We think only them can conquer the, the industry. Only they, them can conquer, you know, the, 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 uh, the field itself. And we can't conquer nothing. We got to think bigger than, 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 than how we have been cultured to think. You understand? We are very uh, happy with our mediocre sort of living. Even as business people, oh, we, we can just make enough to keep happy. How can you keep happy when your brothers and your sisters, your cousins and the, 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 the world of black people are still suffering? That is why we need to rise the standard of our living. That's why we have to think big when it comes to business and this little thinking. We got to think large, Rasta. Then we can feed our families, our loved ones. Every one of us should be in a position to support 10 other families just like ours, you know, each and every one of us, even the 10 other families that we want to support should have that ability too. And then we can see that we are an empire on the rise. But anyway, hey, so give thanks for your presence. This is the Tiger's Nest. Let me be clear. This is a radio program, Radio Anu. And when we come here, we take our time. That's why we have Radio Anu. So we don't have to do a video quickly and give you the point right away so people don't get bored. We're not into none of that. We come to relax. We're going to run some Naya Bingy. What you say? You want some Naya Bingy? Yeah. I'm going to light my chalice. We have a, a lot of things to speak about. Enough, enough things. Not just Brother Garfield. This is Radio Anu. <laughs> and this is the Tiger's Nest. Hey, family, give thanks for your presence with us. Give thanks for the life giver and the keep of life. And in fact, before I go there, let me just highlight this for you. How many of you how many of you received your prosperity? What are you talking about? Prosperity. Well, of course, we all want to be prosperous. But don't forget, we have the prosperity now. That's the herbal tincture. The herbal tincture prepared by the great physician international. I'm talking about in St. Lucia. The prosperity that, that strengthens the, the uh, uh, male reproductive system. I'm talking about uh, nourishes the prostate itself, the prostate gland. And, and, and of course, cleanse the urinary tract. And, and if the same prostate is swollen, inflamed, or any of that stuff, the prosperity can definitely deal with that correctly. I'm talking about a fully all natural product here. No side effects. Prosperity, good effects. Prosperity is a herbal remedy that has been naturally designed to nourish the prostate gland. Prosperity uses a combination of leaves, roots, and barks to create a tincture designed to nourish your prostate gland. It also will assist in prostate-related issues such as erectile dysfunction, swollen prostates, and problems related to the passage of urine. Call or WhatsApp 728-8289, 728-8289, and get your bottle today. Prosperity. And of course, you know, I just got to remind ones, you know, especially um, internationally, of course, the WhatsApp would be better, but, uh, but the email would be the best thing. E email us, priestisaacinstitute at gmail.com. That is the best thing. And let me just tell you clearly, right here in Antigua, prosperity is a household word right now. I'm telling you straight up. And, and, and the brothers, all the brothers, I'll have some testimonies for you soon. All the brothers are testifying because you see my family, I mean, there's so many products they have out there talking about men's health and, and um, uh, prostate health and all of that stuff. And I'm telling you, I think by now, those of you who are here on the choir, I know I'm preaching to the choir to some degree, you know that the pharmaceutical business wasn't designed for you. It wasn't designed for me. Well, maybe it was designed to kill us, you know, so that's why we got to stay away from it. Um, all this stuff, flu max and all this stuff they're giving brothers for their prostate problems and then telling them, well, you got to be careful how you take it and only take it for this long and make sure you eat something. That's not the prosperity. The prosperity is a herbal tincture created with the herbs of the Caribbean raster. 
created by the, the, the great people at the Mount Kailash Rejuvenation Center. And of course, you have, I'm telling you, you can, thousands of people would have already benefited from the prosperity. Brothers have problem every night they wake up all four or five times to go and urine. Brothers will tell you that doesn't happen again. Brothers have problem with their women. I'm going to tell you straight up. Because they can't get straight up. <laughs> all of that alleviated with the prosperity. Let me repeat, all natural, eh? all natural. So all you got to do is visit the website, family. Visit our website, Priest Isaac Institute. PriestIsaacInstitute.com. Pardon me, PriestIsaacInstitute.com. Those of you who are already on the website and visit the area uh, entitled More. And then you'll see prosperity and you can order it right there and it will be delivered in quick order and you have your prosperity. The only thing I will tell you when you're ready for a second order, you're going to want two or three. So I will encourage you right now to order two or three. All right, family. Hey, tell you what, before we get some nice vibes, let us actually listen to what good brother Garfield was saying. And, uh, you know, because this is really what we're going to be talking about tonight. All right. So here we go, family. Let me put this to the, to the Bible. It's highly celestial connected to the Bible. Because we need to just kill this whole Rastafari and craziness right now. All right. Is highly Selassie connected to the biblical to the to the Bible? Is highly Selassie connected to the Bible? Because we need to just kill this whole Rastafari and craziness right now. We can, and then we have we're gonna talk a little bit about Kemet is black and what type of debates can we come up with for Kemet? We're gonna talk about Sumer stuff and Ethiopia. I do want to debate Pitar though. Pitar. No, no, before we go any further, and don't worry, I'm coming, I'm coming back to this or coming forward, maybe back in this case. You know, but I want to begin my program properly. But if you heard what the brother said, you know, with all due respect, the brother clearly said, we're going to talk about if Kemet is black. We're going to see what kind of debate we can come up with. You, you hear that mentality? This is what I'm trying to say, family. This is not the time. This is not the time to be losing your mind in arguing amongst conscious ones about, to me, trivial matters. You see, when we sit down around Rasta round table, we have discussions. We don't always agree, but you can see it's a scholarly exchange. This debate, savage fever. The brother just said, we're going to see what we can debate on as if we're looking for something to fight about. That's why you young ones that follow me, I always encourage you to stay focused. Don't get lost in this argument. And, and even when you read some of the comments in our own videos, keep your head on. Eh? That's why we come back and, 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 and eradicate weird thinking and some of these weird comments that people does even uh, try to associate with us. But anyway, family, we will return to um, brother, brother, uh, the brother's comment. But I think we should get ready for our meditational moment. Those of you who are not accustomed to listen to the Tiger's Nest, let me repeat. This is a program that comes to you every evening at the hour of 7 p.m. We come here. This is Radio Anu. We stream to YouTube and we stream to Facebook and we stream to the Instagram. And I think we stream to some other places. And I think tonight at the moment we are streaming to YouTube. But in a, in several more, uh, a few minutes, really, we will be totally locking off, locking off the YouTube and we'll be strictly um, on Radio Anu. So prepare yourself for those of you on the tube to join us on Radio Anu sooner or later. But what we usually do, we usually hold a meds, whether it's some Naya Mingi music or a nice proper reasoning to get us in the mood. And I think this evening we will begin in La Libera. <laughs> While churches rose to the sky in Europe, in 12th century Africa, they were being carved out of the ground. 
These Christian pilgrims in Ethiopia are on their way to worship at one of them. In these highlands, in the 12th century, Lalibela, a new king from a new dynasty, built a new holy capital. Today, Lalibela's legacy lives on. In the physical splendor of the churches and the traditions of their guardian priests. My blessed people and congregation, churches with no mud, no wood, and no cement. You cannot find anything like this in the rest of the world. You are all blessed because you are here. This place was built by God. Every year on St. George's Day, Pilgrims gather to celebrate a faith that has endured here for 16 centuries. These Christians claimed that God brought the Ark of the Covenant and the Tablets of the Ten Commandments to their land. On holy days today, priests carry on their heads replicas of the tablets wrapped in gilded cloth. The people of Ethiopia have been carving churches out of mountains for more than a thousand years. But the 11 churches of Lalibela symbolize their achievement to the outside world. told by monks even today. There was a city called Roha, where lived a man who belonged to one of the most noble of families, one of the richest in gold, silver, garments, precious stones, servants and maids. He had a child who became the mysteriously named Lalibela. In the legend, the king's greatness was recognized at birth. A swarm of bees descended on his cot as if around honey. His mother named him Lalibella which means the bee has recognized him as king. But these were not bodily bees, but angels who took bee form in order to announce his reign. God sent one of his angels to bring Lalibela to heaven to show him the most holy of churches. Lalibela, the story goes, ordered tools to be made to carve temples like those he'd seen in heaven. His craftsmen turned the wild mountainside into a new Jerusalem. Yes, once again, give thanks for your presence with us. Give thanks for each and every one at this moment. You're definitely due to Radio Anu, the international flavor, the universal spice. 
And this is the Tiger's Nest radio program. If you're not a subscriber to the Tiger's Nest, it's a very simple thing to do. You know what to do, don't you? I'm sure you do. Just contact us and let us know. I would like to be a subscriber. You may say, so what's the benefit of being a subscriber? You never miss another episode of the Tiger's Nest radio program ever again. We just got a message there. Someone is asking, does the prosperity work? Now, this is a question we hear all the time, you know, does the prosperity work? And one thing, uh, one of the things we need to really, you know, keep in mind, you know, family, a lot of the ailments and sicknesses and diseases that come amongst our people didn't happen overnight. Eh? It is because of the lifestyle that many of us would have chosen. Sometimes I like to say the death style. That's why it's called a diet. That's why we tell you it's no more diet. It's a live et. Because you live because of what you eat. And we're not eating things that die. You, you comprehend. So a lot of the, the, the bad choices that we would have made, not just what we would have eaten, you know, but how we would have lived, especially when it comes to our reproductive system as, as, as brothers too. You know, many of us that would have practiced what you would call, uh, uh, um, uh, there's a term for it. I can't even remember the term, but for sure, our social habits would not have been good, really. Uh, promiscuous, yes, promiscuous. We would have been very promiscuous in our behavior, sexually and, and otherwise, too. And of course, that would have damaged many ones in their old age now. They used to have this phrase around here. They used to say you're a saga boy. Saga boy means you're like this sharp man, you know. Uh, you have all the girls, but that didn't really work out to be the best thing for many a ones, you know. Uh, uh, overworked, prostate gland, overworked. Um, uh, in general, the reproductive system of the man, you know, working overtime unnecessarily. Then even in a time like today, a lot of you young, you young brothers who feel that you're the stud, you understand, you are even caught up in more promiscuous activities. You understand, because many young ones now, this is not like back in the days of grandfather where your grandfather used to have a lot of girls. Some of you don't have no girls. You know, in fact, the computer and your little cellular phone is your girls. I just got to talk straight. I hope nobody's offended. This is radio anyway, the international flavor, the universal spice. So we are we still streaming to the YouTube? You see, we're still there anyway. But yeah, but whatever the case is, you know I'm talking the truth. So many brothers lose their energy daily. Let's be serious here. And that is going to cost you with life. Yeah, I'm serious. I just got to tell you how it is. I mean, as fathers, don't you speak to your sons? Many brothers lose their energy daily. Three, four times they ejaculate it. And every time you do that, you put pressure even on your prostate. That is why... That is why even uh, 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 the prostate, when it's swollen, it even disrupts the flow of feces too, not just the, uh, the pee, even the feces. You understand? Because that's why it's right there next to the anus. That's why you have doctors that want to stick their finger up in your anus to test to see if your prostate is swollen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know this is not what many people had in mind, but... <laughs> This is the tiger's nest. So, so the reality is, again, it took a while for a lot of the ailments and sickness that would have come amongst our people to come amongst our people. And some of us were looking for a solution like overnight. And here the mystic, you know, a lot of the herbs that the Most High would have given us on this planet can literally give you a relief overnight. That is the truth. So give thanks for the gurus and the shamans and the high scientists. Like, as I said, the family at the priest Kailash, Mount Kailash Rejuvenation Center, which has the ability to create products, uh, not just the prosperity, but uh, colon cleansers, and womb cleansers, and other uh, products that will definitely enhance you. So yes. In short, yes, the prosperity, <laughs> the prosperity does work as the person was asking. Hey, family, you know, we got to trust ourselves and we got to trust one another in this, yeah, last judgment here. All right.
When I am dead, wrap the mantle of the red, the black and the green around me. For in the new life I shall rise up first with God's strength and blessing. To lead the millions of the heights and the triumph that you will know. Look for me in a world when I a storm. Look for me all around you. For my God's grace, I shall come back with countless millions of black men and women who have died in America, those who have died in the West Indies, and those who have died in Africa. To so aid you in the fight for liberty, freedom, and life. And of course, you know, we're thankful for such the night of the Black Tiger. We're talking about the divinity of Marcus Messiah Gavi. All right, family, you know what I'm going to do now? We're going to go straight to what we promised you. We're going to go straight into the reasoning. And um, to begin the reasoning, I think we would have to properly listen to what um, our our brother Garfield um, read of the... Uh, what's his stuff name again? The Dagger Squad <laughs> would be saved here. And let me be clear again, this is no personal anything, no personal attack. This is not to offend no one. I mean, this very same brother, I would consider personally attacked me already. But uh, I would have squared that up. This is not a personal attack. I mean, it's just how a person takes it. It's up to them. You don't know we ain't afraid of nobody. But I'm just being humbly truthful. This is not a personal attack. This is just to be looking at the information. If anyone else takes it any other way, it is up to them. So we can take care of ourselves. Eh? You better believe that. All right. Anyway, so the brother said. If you out there listening, I want to debate you on is Haile Selassie connected to the biblical, to the, to the Bible? Is Haile Selassie connected to the Bible? Oh, we need to just kill this whole Rastafari and craziness right now. All right? So here we go, family. Let me put this video to the, to the Bible. Is Haile Selassie connected to the Bible? Oh, we need to just kill this whole Rastafari and craziness right now. All right. Is Haile Selassie connected to the biblical, to the, to the Bible? Is Haile Selassie connected to the Bible? Oh, we need to just kill this whole Rastafari and craziness right now. Weekend. And then we have... We're going to talk a little bit about Kemet is black and what type of debates can we come up with for Kemet. We're going to talk about Sumer stuff and Ethiopia. I do want to debate Pitar, though. Pitar, if you out there listening, I want to debate you on is Haile Selassie connected to the biblical, to the, to the Bible? Is Haile Selassie connected to the Bible? Because we need to just kill this whole Rastafari and craziness right now. All right? So here we go, family. Let me put this video. To the, to the Bible. Is Haile Selassie connected to the Bible? Oh, right. We need to just kill this whole Rastafari and craziness right now. I think we got the point now. Oh, that's a very good. All right. Let me make sure my mic is on. Oh, okay, perfect. All right. Now, I don't know who is Peter. I think he said Peter. I guess it's Patar. I don't know. As I said earlier, I know who the great God Patar is. Um... You know, to, to address the subject, I think you do have to get a little bit personal first. So at least we, since we used that brother there as the source of the, the discussion tonight, as I said, it was one of my brothers in Rasta Roundtable, Rasai Adonis, who brought this to my attention. And I was really considering, I don't know what you think, family, those of you who are, you can put it in the chat as such. You can put it in the comments. What do you think? Do you think we should invite Brother Garfield of the Dagger Squad to come and sit with us and rest around the table? He'll sit with myself. He will sit with Rasai Adonis. Of course, we will have Ankoma de Dredd. Ankoma de Dredd said he would have uh, uh, challenged uh, uh, Brother Garfield already. But of course, to no avail. Um, he would also have to sit with Ras Iser and uh, uh, King Cypher Selassie and, and Ras Kwame. Do you believe that Brother Garfield would come and have a sit down with us? We won't. I mean, come on. I wouldn't let nobody uh, abuse the brother. You know, he would have his freedom just like any one of us, but we wouldn't be in his little den. We will be in the tiger's nest with the lions. You understand? And then he, we, we would free him up. What do you think? 
I wouldn't make none of the lions uh, do him no harm as such. <laughs> yeah, and then we could talk the thing out properly. Now, as I said, the first time that brother really came at me, I was I was a bit, uh, well, yeah, a bit shocked a bit because I made an appearance on Brother Sanita's program and um, he came on as one of the callers after my presentation and, and you know, he kind of gave some swipe, something similar to what he was saying there. And that wasn't even the discussion the evening. And I think that's the first time I kind of had an encounter with him. I always admired his approach to scholarship. So, I mean, I didn't even know where he was coming from. Then to hear him on his own little platform referring to me as a fussy. That's what he said. Priest Isaac is a fussy or that fussy Priest Isaac. Remember, I never had no reasoning with this brother. You know, I never even spoke his name anywhere and this brother came out of the blue yet i mean i don't know how many of you are recently um uh, have recently just started to follow i but you can go back and check these videos and i did a video on him calling me fussy and i didn't come too clean with him well i was clean but maybe i wasn't too nice i should say oh it's very clean let me check my words good. I was extremely clean. I'm always clean. But maybe he didn't like how I put forward what I put forward. And he even tried to reach out to me after that about with something and some talk and, and debate and these kind of things. Man, I don't have no time to play. You can't lure me into no foolishness. Debate. I deal with real debates. Eh? When, when we have debates, there's a decisive winner, you know, man. You hear what King Idi Amin Dada say? Knock them out. We don't leave nothing for people to say, boy, who you think win and, the, and this kind of stuff. And, and debate is not a win thing. It, it has become a win thing. But when you have debates in, in the academic halls of colleges and university, yes, one debater will come out on top. But to show you how scholarly it's, it, it, it is, it, 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 it is really, the term win is not even in the discussion. Win sounds as if we're playing a game, as if we don't see how serious the information is. This is life and death, you know, the truth is life and death. The truth is life and the lie is death. That's all. But when we reach to the point where we start to talk about people is fussy. Imagine that. I'm a In fact, I think I was a fussy hole. Yeah, pardon the language, but I'm just telling you what the brother referred to me as. I said, hey, hey, but he don't know my middle name. He not easy. Well, anyway, I left him alone since then. But um, I see he's calling for Pata now. Well, it's all right. I Maybe you and Pata can have fun. But the language, eh? kill this Rastafari craziness. I mean, like, wow. But again, I think it's all a part of the psych, the psych up vibes. And because as you clearly heard, the brother clearly said, he looking for something to debate about. We not in them world here. We ain't looking for nothing to debate about. We are looking to enhance the lives of people on all levels, spiritually, physically, governmentally, economically, health, wealth. You can see what we are on here. But again, these programs are done in the interest of those of you who are listeners. We ain't come to get wild and savage on nobody. We come to just humbly express the truth. Now, number one, I think everyone knows that the Bible is highly Selassie, the first sacred book. The king speak about him glory in the Bible because what the brother asked him, you know, he was he wanted to know, I know he's speaking about the prophecy of the Bible related to highly Selassie, but I'm starting from another level because the question was, what does highly Selassie have to do with the Bible? 
Well, Haile Selassie embraces the Bible. Haile Selassie Kadamawi, Haile Selassie the first loves the Bible. Now, as far as the divinity, and let me say, even those within the realms of Ras Tafari that would have issues with the Bible, I know the vast majority of us will admit that in our early stages, because it's usually those going up in the elder stage that have this issue with Bible. But when they came Rastafari, it was the same Bible. The vast majority of them, of us, of I and I, it was the same Bible that would have showed us who Haile Selassie I was as it relates to the divine aspect. Yes, many of us, including myself, would have matured to a level where I could see now the divinity of the emperor beyond Bible. I mean, as the heavens declare the glory we deal with here. But where did we see that written first? The very said Bible. Now, to be precise, and, and this, is, this is just simple here. There is a narrative and a story in the Bible. Even if you say, you don't believe in King Solomon and you don't believe in his, in his lineage because that's the argument now. Well, Solomon never existed. Okay. David never existed. So the Solomon lineage that lead to Haile Selassie I must be false. You understand? In fact, even in Rasta, uh, Farai, on Rasta Farai round table, we have this sort of discussion. You know that. Fair enough. But let's be logical now. Even if you may believe the Bible is a story, the story itself is considered a prophecy that points to specific things. Now, Haile Selassie I is considered, and this is the this is the the, the understanding of history, he's considered the 225th descendant as it relates to an emperor of the lineage of Solomon. Now you're on the side saying, oh, I don't believe in Solomon. That's your business. But the sacred book is speaking of Solomon and the lineage of Solomon. And Christ is coming through the lineage of Solomon. And you're on the sideline here, oh, I don't believe in no Christ. That's up to you. And the same sacred book is telling you that the Lion of Judah, hear this one. The elders were asking, who is it that can stop Mussolini? Who is it that can open the seven seals? This is what the Bible is saying. Who is it that can gather the free nations of Africa together in the OAU? In fact, before he does that, who is it that can contribute and make sure that these African countries get their independence? And I wept. Because no one in heaven and earth and under the earth could be found to get back the scepter of Tyrus II from Britain. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. For behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah hath prevailed to speak to the League of Nations and crush them and see the United Nations open. You playing with me? You crazy. Now, all of what you believe in and don't believe in, and I'm actually talking to Rastas here. I ain't even talking to God. For you like talking to Rastas. All of what you believe and don't believe in Bible. If it's one thing I know, the, the storybook of the Bible and its fictional writings are directly aligned to the literal expression that we have Behold with our eyes as it relates to Haile Selassie I. Who is the king of kings and the lord of lords who had it written on his vesture and on his tie? As make up as the story is, who are we talking about? And then even outside of the king of kings, the prophecies in the Bible are so precise. The prophecies in the Bible are so on point. Even when you look into the book of Daniel, and listen here, family, in all due respect, eh, give thanks again for those who are 
checking us on the YouTube. I think we may be streaming to Facebook as well, but at the moment, the engineers are going to seal off the stream. I just got the word. The engineers are going to seal off the stream. So, of course, you know how to, to join us on Radio Anu. The link is in the description below. This video, all you got to do is scroll down and press the link and you will be with us on Radio Anu as we continue this reasoning as it relates to Haile Selassie uh, being detected in the prophecies of the Bible. Do you want an accurate natal chart reading to know the true position of the sun, the moon, and each planet at the moment that you were being born? We at the Priest Isaac's Institute of Holistic Knowledge will create a precise natal chart for you and your loved ones, coupled with snapshot pictures of each planet, the sun, the moon, plus the constellations related to them. In addition to this, we will be giving you a detailed report of the alignment of planets to the constellations and its full meaning not from an astrological perspective but from an ancient astronomical perspective. You will have this report for the rest of your life and can share it with your friends and your family. To order your accurate natal chart today, visit our website priestisaacinstitute.com or email us priestisaacinstitute at gmail.com Bless it.